Hey guys, it's like uh, midnight, but I felt like recording tomorrow today. Um, today we're gonna be animating this guy right here. Pretty much, he's just moving, floating, but we want to actually animate him. And for that, you're gonna need to have um your own sprite sheet. You like you have to draw. I'll show you my example. Um. Got my sprites somewhere here. Yeah, so you're gonna need a sprite sheet that that looks like this pretty much. Just a bunch of guys standing still and moving. Um I'm gonna create a new material and we're gonna call this our moving our character I guess or something like that and drag this in don't forget to make it transparent diffuse and we're just gonna drag it in onto hold on, we're gonna drag it in onto our graphics right here um, mesh render and now we got a bunch of these guys so I'll remember scale it down a little bit like that and um, go to go to a first person controller and just make make this guy a little taller and um, a little, a little thinner a little thicker just like that so, if we play our game right now, we got a bunch of this weird stuff. So, for that, we're gonna need a script. I'm gonna go on Google and we're gonna type in Unify Community, and um, we're gonna go scripts, controllers, or actually effects animated tile texture extended and um, this is pretty much like an example of a sprite sheet we're going to take our javascript version copy it I'm going to go in our scripts folder I'm going to create um, I'm going to call it animate animate like that animate and paste it in and um, we are going to drag this into this guy row count rows are uh, uh, horizontal so I'll pretty much there's two rows and column count is a vertical, so we got four columns. And if we play right now, the guy, our guy should be still. But if we switch it to, say, one right here, our guy is going to be sort of moving just like that. Pretty much. Pretty much just dancing, dancing around. Remember, scale the first person controller. But we don't want our guy to just dance around. When we're not pressing anything, we want our guy just to stand still. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our own script and we're gonna call this call animate. Let's open it up. Let's go into our the function and we're gonna do variable animate texture equals to game object dot get component animate and what we're doing here is we are just checking for errors we are 
trying to use the variables from the script and we're going to be using in our case I think we're going to be using um, row number yeah we're going to be using row number in our case so um, so there's there's a way we're going to do this is pretty much like this so if input dot get key and um, if we're pressing A which means we're pressing or moving left we want our guy to move so we're gonna do AT like that. and we're gonna go AT dot row number equals one so that means when we're pressing the when we're going left we want our guy to move if also else if we're continuing our if statement input dot get key um if we're pressing d to move right we also oops oh come on we also want oh my scrub is being a butt today we also want our guy to actually move but if we're not pre pressing anything that means we're not moving so otherwise we're gonna make it zero so let's go ahead and um, drag or call anime script we should be standing still right now while well, my game is bugged out I'll be right back guys sorry about, sorry about that guys my game I mean my unity lagged out so I'm gonna press play and we're standing still and I'm not pressing any keys when I press right our guys running to the right press left our guys running to the left so as you can see our uh, we got our character to actually move and do something right now so in the next video um, I'll be going over some level, some level design some shadows and um, yeah so keep updated for the next video and I'll see you guys later